Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Addison Airport is a single runway, multi-use airport located just 10 miles northeast of Dallas-Fort Worth International and six miles north of Dallas Love Field. It provides a convenient alternative for corporate and business aviation looking for access to the busy Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. It's also home to numerous flight schools providing everything from basic training to advanced ratings. On any given day, the airport provides services to aircraft ranging from Cessna 150s to corporate jets on their single runway. This diverse mix of pilot experience and aircraft capabilities, along with the airport geometry, makes Addison an interesting and challenging airport for both pilots and controllers alike. A quick look at the VFR sectional chart reveals that Addison has class Delta airspace that directly underlays the Dallas-Fort Worth class Bravo. Pilots traveling to this airport for the first time need to make themselves intimately familiar with the airspace and the requirements involved. The single runway has a full-length parallel taxiway on the east side. At present, the majority of the businesses and all of the FBOs are located on the east side of the airport. Future expansion of the current facilities on the west side are in the planning phase. Arriving at Addison can be a bit complicated due to the airspace requirements and the adjacent airports. Close attention needs to be paid to the instructions issued by the tower for pattern entry. Precise execution of these instructions will make your arrival orderly and safe. If you plan to arrive after dark, be aware that the airport is located in the middle of an industrial park and surrounded by residential areas. Ambient lighting from major roads and highways can be the source for confusion and difficulty identifying the airport at night. If you're also talking to ATC, do not hesitate to call them if you're having difficulty finding the field. They're there to help. Loading the ILS or RNAV approach will also help you locate the runway. There are nine hotspots on the Addison Airport diagram, but they're all attributable to one single issue, the distance between the runway and taxiway alpha. Due to the airport configuration and runway safety area requirements, it's impossible for aircraft to clear the runway without entering the taxiway. The Air Traffic Control Tower has worked out unique procedures and practices to make this configuration work. While these mostly consist of internal air traffic control procedures, pilots need to be extra vigilant and attentive to tower and ground control instructions. In addition, if you're in doubt about any control instruction or clearance, ask for clarification. Controllers would much rather spend a few extra seconds on the radio than be involved in an incident or accident. Being aware of the configuration and traffic issues at Addison will help pilots make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to Addison Airport. It's always better to know before you go.